Hey, so yeah, I didn't post anything yesterday because yesterday flew by and I didn't really get time to read anything. Today, I haven't really read anything either. It just flew by. Hopefully, I get to read more tomorrow. But some days, that's just what happens for me. But I still want to do something. So today, I'm going to do the Gilmore Girls book tag. It's based on Gilmore Girls, obviously. Where you take the different characters and find a book that matches it. So the first one is Lorelai. A book with a, witty, with a character that's witty or sarcastic. With a sarcastic sense of humor. And yeah, of course, I could have done well, gone with a lot of books here. There's a lot of books as a person that's witty or uh, sarcastic. I end up choosing A Girl Called Shameless by Laura Steven. It's the second book in the Is It O'Neill series. Duology. I recently read it, as you see. I read it last week. Last week? Yep, last week. My god, time flies. For the contemporary readathon. Loved it. And the protagonist in this one is really, really sarcastic. But very fun as well. Sometimes characters are sarcastic in a mean way, but she isn't. A Girl Called Shameless by Laura Steven. You should really check it out. It's very good. Very good. And next prompt or next question is <coughs> It's me that should not have been talking. Yeah. Is Rory a favorite classic? Because Rory Rory loves to read classics. This one was I suppose well yeah, it wasn't really that hard. Because honestly favorite classics. Well I suppose it depends what you think of classics. With me, I think like uh, Oscar Wilde or Jane Austen or The Brontes or Charles Dickens, etc., etc. But some people actually actually they actually said they uh, they include uh, Agatha Christie in that one in the classics. So yeah, I really love Agatha, Agatha Christie and I really like her books. But I I decided to go for one standard classic, which is. Jane Eyre by, by um, oops, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I read this one in uh, high school actually, not for school, just because I felt like it. Because there was a movie coming out, and for like you know, I wanted to read that one. I read it, I loved it. Still haven't reread it. I read retellings of it, but haven't reread it. Kind of want to do that, just never happened. But I, I still want, really want to do that. I got this beautiful copy at a flea market actually, and it's actually kind of fun. It was actually published in 1946, so it's old version, so that's really fun. It has such, such a nice uh, aesthetic to it, so I really, really like it. The next question is... Moment. Look, a book you secretly love. I suppose because... Lola secretly loves Luke, though she claims she didn't know it, but yeah, anyhow. And for this one, honestly, I'm just gonna skip it. Because all the books I love, I love out in the open, obviously. I don't really love any books secretly. I don't have any guilty pleasures, I would say. If I love something, I love it. I love it. I'm not ashamed of it. And that's that, really. So, I'm skipping that one. Uh, next is... Lane, a musical character. This one was a bit hard as well, well for us, well, anyway, because there's a lot of books with musical characters. There are some books with musical characters that you don't own. But I end up going for The Reese Malcolm Lists by Amy Spaulding, uh, famous lately for. Um, uh, oh my god, that very famous book that came out last year. Uh, Jody, Jody Paris, Jody Paris, and the Great Summer, Beautiful Summer. Uh, blocking on the name of that one, but anyway, yeah, this is one of the first books. It takes place in a high school of performing arts, and the protagonist is in a choir and loves to sing. So musical. I read this one six years ago, sometime, and I really, really like it. Well, really love it. Really, it's a really good one. Uh, it's a great contemporary, if you want to check it out. It, it's it's not heavy-hitting, but it has some kind of 
seriousness, like one of her parents has died and she has to get to know the other parents because all of them died. Uh, so that's kind of serious, but mostly it's a fun, light book. And yeah, I recommend it. The Greased Michael List by Emmy Spalling. Check it out. Next character in the book is uh, Dean. Yep, sorry, Dean, you gotta check. Dean, your first book love, because he was her first boyfriend. This one was easy, easy busy. It has to be Jesse De Silva from the many YouTube books. I love him. I read this book series and this book for the first time when I was 14, I think. Yeah, 14. So a while now ago. Uh, but I still love rereading the series, and Jesse is still one of the horniest characters. I love him. Love him. The major for main character. Check it out. And next question is... Suki, a book you devoured because she's a chef. This one, as I said, could have gone for a lot of books because... Uh, because there's a lot of books that I devour that I read in one sitting and I read fast. I did end up going for The Shamer's, um, the Shamer's Daughter by Lena Coverdwell. It's a Danish author and this is the Norwegian translation. But it actually has, um, <clears throat> it's been translated to English. I think like a lot of languages, probably not all languages, but a lot of languages. It came out in early 2000s, and it actually got a lot like Q26 then, and then two, three years ago it got a movie, and this year we got the second book of a movie. This is the first in a middle grade series of four books, and I love, love this one as a kid. Still do. So I reread, I think I reread it now. But anyway, I've, I have reread it several times. It's really, really good. Yeah, it takes place in a um, Middle Ages, England ish type high fantasy setting, so that's kind of standard. But the, the plot is so interesting. The main character, she can see into your eyes and can, she, she can. Sorry. She can see into your eyes. As you can see what, what you're ashamed of, all the things that you're ashamed of. So that's a really fun uh, ability to have, really. I think at least. And it has great villains, and it's really feministic in a way. It's about her and her mom, who's also a shamer. Well, it's a called shamer daughter, so yeah. They both have the ability to see what you're shameful for. And yeah, it's really, really good. You really check it out. This one out. You really, really should. And up next we have what book we got? Jess, a book you love that gets the most hate. This one, honestly, I can't come up with anything. With you. Oh, sorry, mm, I was about to say I couldn't, but I actually could. Yeah, not only the control today, just mm. you might notice I still have a bit of a cold, so that's that. But anyway. I'm making this video, and hopefully the gold, cold will go away during this week. Cross my fingers. Anyway, just a book you, you love that gets the most hate. It was a bit hard to find this one, really. I don't think, like, the books I love generally don't get hate, or if they get hate, they just get a little hate. And the books that get hate are books usually I don't really like either. So it's a bit hard to pick one for this one. I did end up going with Fan Art by Sarah Jogay. I read it a year ago, I think. Yeah, actually a year ago now. It's been sitting on my TBR wanting to read list for years. And then yesterday, a year ago, I got it. Read it. I loved it. After I read it, I went to Goodreads because I usually want to see what, what the other people think about the book. And it actually got a lot of, not hate, but. Some people gave hate, some people gave it dislikes because of some aspects in the book. But that didn't really, the, those aspects didn't really bother me. So, yeah, I would say this one comes the closest to a book that I love everyone else or that gets hate, really. I would say 
go check it out. It's a fun book. It's a fun, nice male male romance with lots of uh, diverse aspects. So that's fun. Yeah. Well, I suppose I could go on, but like, why go on all, all books? Uh, Miss Patty, a book that was ruined by the hype. Honestly, this one I would have to also skip because I suppose maybe I could redo this tag and do and add a book later because I think I might have one or two, but right now I can't think of a book that fits this prompt. And I want to film this now, and uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna skip this one. Uh, then I'm gonna do Emily Gillum, the most expensive book you have. Honestly, I don't have that many expensive books. I haven't really, like, if, most of the books I own are paperbacks, so they're generally uh, not, not expensive. And sometimes, well, yeah, some books I own are like special editions, but they're normally not that expensive either. So I wouldn't really call them expensive anyway, like, expensive. I think. To call something expensive, you have to think like, hmm, sh do I have money for this one? And I never really do buying books, so I suppose that's stupid to say, in regards to books, when I'm a bookworm, book dragon. Yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna skip that one as well. So, the... Well... Oh. Huh. I think I'm, I might have mixed something here because I only have I have two extra prompts here. I'm not sure about that, so that's interesting. I'll have to double check that, which I'll do now. So yeah, I just checked several places on BookTube. Yeah, <laughs> I actually I think I mixed some book tags up while I. Uh, wrote this book tag down because I added two fronts which came out of nowhere. So yeah, this is actually the last book tag, the last prompt, which is Paris, an uptight character. This one I do have one for actually. <laughs> so two skips and one I have one for. And it's um, Mina from the Clockwork Scarab or the Stoke and Home series. Mina is one of the main characters. Uh, so you, if you don't like uptight characters, this might not be serious for you. But she's not like very uptight, but she's slightly uptight, and she just gets called just gets called uptight by other people in the series. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's a really good series, Clockwork Scarab by Colin Gleason. It's a silk steampunk middle grade series, steampunk series, middle grade way. I have to check this out. How? How is it defined? I thought of this to the other video. I didn't figure it out. I'm not sure. Anyhow, this one has an uptight character. Not as uptight as Paris, but it is her. She is uptight. And yeah, it's a really good book. Series and series. You should check it out. So yeah, now it's actually those books. Uh, fun. All the, the prompts. I just went through all of them. Uh, it's a fun little tag to do. And yeah, that was the tag. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll <clears throat> put the creator in a doob doo. And I'll, yeah, you know what? This one time I'm just gonna add the character as well because it's just character names and like small sentences. So it's easier for you to, so you can look at my video and do yourself if you want to. Uh, because or else. Uh, some people, they have like the prompts in the blue blue, some don't. But I, yeah, I might as well do it now when I update, when I update this, one, this one. So, yeah, Renee out, hoping to read more tomorrow. Cross my fingers. And yeah, Renee out.